Hey y'all, it's Kwan Zay and I'm back with another video, period. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be making stacked leggings. This is my first attempt. Um, it's kind of like a tutorial DIY, but it's also my first attempt trying to make them. But yeah, um, that's what today's video is. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on my socials. And in this clip, I'm just showing you what you guys will need. Basically, you need two pair of leggings, um, needle and thread, scissors, and that's it. I had the pins because I was trying to be extra and I didn't even use them. So you don't need that. And you can get the leggings out at Walmart for $6.588 to be exact. But yeah. Um, and I think that's it. And then we're going to start, I guess, the tutorial after this clip. Okay, y'all so in this clip I'm basically just putting the leggings folded in well one pair at a time of course but folding the leggings getting them ready to cut them um as you'll see um, further along I would suggest not cutting up that high like cut it high enough I made the mistake of getting capri leggings instead of regular size leggings so I wanted to try to get as much stackness I guess you could say as possible but I would definitely say try not to cut up that far like close but not that far up when you're doing yours and try to get full length leggings and not capris I mean it'll work obviously like, this video is out so obviously it worked but I would say get regular um, length leggings for this Okay y'all, so I'm back. Basically in this part of the video, I'm taking the stacked part of the leggings, like the part of the leggings that's going to make it stacked. Um, I'm flipping that inside out and I'm trying to match it up with the seams on the uncut leggings. So basically you're going to take the stacked part, the cut ones, you're going to take the skinnier part of the pants and put it towards the end of the uncut leggings if that makes sense. Like the wide part should be closer towards you and the skinnier part should be towards the end of the leggings if that makes sense. If not you could just watch this video it clearly shows it. So um yeah also make sure that you um try to make sure the seams are very like similar so when you unfold them when it's all done it looks what is the word cohesive if that makes sense. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. In this clip, basically, I'm just showing y'all that I've lined up the two pair of leggings and I'm getting ready to cut off the thick bands at the end of the leggings just so there won't be any lumps, any of that clumps, all that in the middle of the leggings when you sew it together because you want the leggings to be as seamless and nice as possible. So, yeah, that's all I'm doing in this clip. And, um, yeah. Okay y'all, so I'm back in this clip. Basically, I'm just starting to, um, what am I sewing? And so basically, um, make sure you sew the pants together nicely, but don't make it so tight to where you put the pants on, you pop a thread, because I accidentally did that, and um, let's just say it wasn't pretty. A sister was pretty upset. So um, yeah, make sure you don't tie it, I mean not tie it, but sew it too tight, and make sure you're sewing around the whole don't sew the pants together, because that would defeat the whole point, and they wouldn't be pants, so. <laughs> Yeah, um, pretty much that's all I'm doing in this clip if I'm not mistaken, and yeah. Uh, 
right y'all so that's the end of this video um i hope y'all enjoyed and i hope y'all learned something from this this is my first attempt i would definitely say try to get regular length leggings than just capri leggings if you want more stack to your pants but otherwise it works completely fine but anyway um if you haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe and follow me on my socials and i will see y'all in the next one bye